Hey there, I'm Tommy and this is my Ender 3. It's broken and deserves better. Today we'll be upgrading everything on it to fix it and make it faster. I'm talking extrusion system, mainboard, leveling probe, touchscreen, motion system, and even a 220 volt heated bed. I've got tons of components, so let's get to upgrading. Pause. You may have noticed that my Ender 3 looks a little bit different, and that's because it is. I've already upgraded the springs and the mainboard, and I would say the hot end too, but that's the main reason why this machine is out of order currently. I think we should get the big upgrades out of the way. First up. That was 10 minutes saved. Now we have to design the mount for the new print head. I've got this awesome design that I found on Thanks, which enables the mounting of the H2 V2S Lite extruder, Microprobe 2.0, and 250 15 fans for excellent part cooling. But I can't mount it directly to the block unless... That is looking menacing. I love it. But will it perform better than the setup on the broken 3D printer? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Let's talk electronics real quick. I've got everything wired up to my SKR Mini E3 V3. Complementing the mainboard upgrade is a screen upgrade. The TFT 35E3 V3 is a multifunctional touchscreen for the Ender 3. That's a lot of threes. You can emulate the original LCD screen while also adding touch control and G-code input, which is awesome if you want to adjust more niche printer settings like probe offsets and PID tuning. It's a nice touch, but it's only going to get better. Oh, this is good news. We can reuse the heated bed thermistor and we won't have to wire a new one. I have a little bit of a stupid idea. What if we used both the 24 volt bed and the 220 volt bed? That would be something. Hey guys, I want to give you a quick update. So the, the 220 volt bed did work after a PID tune, but I blew up the main board. Uh, I was using a multimeter trying to figure out why the fans weren't spinning and I, I shorted it and it's it's gone. Um, it served me well. So now I'm going to install this. While the Creality 4.2.2 board isn't as good as the SKR Mini E3 V3, I don't have a choice. I'm just going to go for it. We're going to get clipper on there. We're going to get a clipper screen installed. It's going to be absolutely awesome. But before we do that, I've got to talk to you guys about this print head. It's metal 3D printed aluminum made with PCB way. I also made one out of their transparent resin, which as you can see, looks insane. After trying their aluminum, TPU, nylon and resin 3D printing, I can confidently recommend them for your projects. With the ability to print in industrial materials such as peak and titanium and quantities such as hundreds or thousands of parts, for your 3D printing needs and more, check out PCB way. First link in the description. And thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. That is what we love to see. Basically what we do now is install everything that we need. Yeah. 
There's no more errors. Yo, let's go. Where's the clipper screen? I have just spent as much time troubleshooting clipper screen as I have the actual clipper firmware. It should work this time. It did it. That's so cool to see. Uh, I'm doing a, a PID tune. It's it's fast. It also shut down because it was too powerful. Extrusion. This quality Benji print turned out really well. The layer lines look really good and there's no major artifacts. Plus, we haven't even done input shaping yet, so it's only gonna get better. That is fast. This is speedboat race rules though. It's like three top and bottom layers, 0.5 millimeter layer height, 0.5 millimeter line width. The whole table that this is on is shaking. Look, the liquid's shaking. We don't wanna, lo we don't wanna lose steps this time. I'd rather have a slower print with no lost steps. I'm, I'm very proud of this extruder, honestly. This is way too far for it. I will take that. Now let's do it with input shaping. I really hope it doesn't rattle itself to bits. I think we can do better. Oh my, I've never seen one of my page fingers go so fast. Sub 13. I'll print some calibration cubes for quality. Quality indeed, although more tuning always helps. I did encounter quite a few errors with this build, but I was able to resolve pretty much all of them. Since you've made it this far, I'd like to personally thank you. This has been a, a pretty ambitious video. It took a, a bit longer than I expected, so I wasn't able to do everything I wanted, but I'm still very pleased. Um, I'd like to thank Big True Tech and PCBWay for helping me make this video. I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, in the back there, you might see an Ender 5. That is going to be a new iteration of this project where I'll be upgrading that. Um, and I've got some awesome videos in store. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, please let me know. And uh, once again, I'll see you again soon.